Hi there. I'm going to be showing you the process of me making a pendant today. I'm going to be wire wrapping a stone for a friend and I'm pretty excited about it. I've never done a time lapse tutorial type video before so this will be new, interesting, and fun. Here we go. So here I am just doing a rough sketch of what I want the pendant to look like. Here I am measuring how long I want the wire to be. This wire is 20 gauges and I'm going to be using two of them. I'd say it is about 10 inches long. The camera cut out me cutting this wire but this wire is 24 gauges and I'm going to be using it to lock the bigger two wires together. What I'm doing here is I am cleaning up the binding of the two wires, just making the ends of the wires not visible and not sticking out. Now I am bending the wires to get that heart shaped figure and just kind of putting it up against the stone to measure it. And now I am putting more binding to the wires. I'm going to put two more on each side. Here I am attempting to separate the wire with my fingers. Just kidding, I am succeeding. And I'm pulling apart the two upper wires because I don't want that binding to slip up when I pull apart the bottom part of the wire. So I'm making it with my fingers, but it, once I get a good head start on it, it's easier to go in there with my tool and open up that wire to make more room for the heart to go into. I'm starting to add some design elements now. Little did I know that what I thought was going to be the front of the pendant, I actually decided to be the back. Here I am starting to create the bail. Now the bail is the part of the pendant or a part of a necklace that the chain or cord goes through to wrap around your neck and here I'm showing you where I am hoping to place these extra sticking out wires mm -hmm. 
now that I know what I want my bale to look like, I have a general image of what I want it to look like, I'm going to take it apart and add some design elements to it. And this is a really cool tool I'm using that helps me straighten out my wire. It's kind of a luxurious tool, but I definitely wouldn't want to live without it. Now I'm taking the smallest gauge of wire I've used yet and I'm going to be creating a bell design. I don't remember what this design is called, but I use it pretty often just because it's so beautiful and is simple to make as well. After I finished the design, I made the executive decision to just coil up the rest of that right side of the wire, as you can see here. There's the structure I have so far, and now I'm taking a colored pencil. This is a technique to help create the bale. Just wrapping the wire around the colored pencil to get that cylinder circular structure and from here it's hard to tell you exactly what I'm doing but I'm basically just messing around with the design elements creating some swirls I am taking apart a previous swirl I did and as you can see I don't like the way the wire looks after I did this it looks pretty messed up but there is a technique that you can use when this happens and it looks a little like this from now on throughout the rest of this video I'm just going to be messing around with the design elements creating what I like what I don't like I'm going to be switching things up a bit and experimenting a lot Here I am tucking in the stranded wires, making sure everything is in place, making sure also that the stone is set inside the setting, that it's not falling out, and that it's in the right position that I want it to be in. So in this case, I made sure that the stone was aligned, the tip with the point of the bottom of the setting, and the top of the heart in line with the center of the bale. Now I am finishing up the design elements and the next clip that is, I'm going to show you is what the piece first ended up looking like. However, after putting it on, I didn't know if I liked the way it looked. The friend I'm giving it to is not the most frou-frouish person, so I decided to take off the right swirl and I put in a another design. I actually ended up really liking it because it almost looks like a DNA structure on the right side and then the left loop looks like its own little heart. This is the back of the pendant which remember I was going to have to be the front. This is my video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.